Hey everybody, so if you're watching this, you're probably trying to make sure that you check your engine oil properly and you do it right. I will tell you there are three easy things to do to make sure you do it right every time. Number one, make sure you check it when the engine is hot and the engine oil is warm. Now the reason being, if you check it when it's cold or if it's been sitting for a long time and you fill the oil up to that maximum fill level, what happens is when you go to start the engine and run it, when it gets to operating temperature, that oil is going to get thinner and it's going to expand and it can cause some engine damage because it got higher than it was supposed to get. So always check it when it's warm. And the way to do this is run the vehicle for a few minutes, get it up to operating temperature on the gauge, and then shut it off for a few minutes. And that's very important to wait a few minutes after shutting it off before checking it. And the reason being is you need to give a chance for all that oil to seep back down into the pan so you get a proper level because that oil is being pumped all through the engine, all through little tubes and it needs a chance to sink back down via gravity to get back down to that pan. So let it get hot, turn the vehicle off, wait at least five minutes, and then go ahead and check it. Number two, always check the engine oil level twice. What I mean by that is go ahead and take the dipstick out, wipe it off completely, don't even look at it. The reason being is when that engine's running, that oil's gonna splash up onto the dipstick and it might be higher than that fill line, giving you a bad reading. So go ahead and take it out, wipe it off completely, reinsert it carefully, then when you pull it back out, read that level. And if you're not sure what the level is, just keep doing it. It can't hurt to do it more than, more than twice. Keep checking it until you're confident that you got the right oil level and the right measurement. Now, a bonus tip, but I shouldn't even have to say this, is please make sure your vehicle is level when you're checking the engine oil. Obviously, if it's leaning forward or leaning backwards, the oil is gonna be in the, either in the front or the back of the pan and you're gonna get a bad reading. And number three, when you're filling it up, keep it simple. This isn't the space shuttle. You don't need to get the exact millimeter up to that fill line. If you're between that low and that high level, you're good to go. Obviously, you wanna to try to get it up to that high level so you're a little bit safer. Um, but it is important to note that if you are at the low level or just below it, it's about one and a half quarts for this engine to get it back up to that full line. So don't just dump multiple quarts in because it looks a little low. Put about a half a quart in or just below a quart see what happens, measure it again, see if you're good to go, and don't keep trying to fill it up till you get to that full line because you can risk overfilling it. Thanks for watching, everybody.